Okay, well, to me, I think I made a major score yesterday finding this Benelli Supernova. I never really looked at Benelli's before because I thought they were just too much money and out of my price range, but I always wanted to own uh, a high quality shotgun, and I know Benelli makes some of the best in the world. I mean, some of the greatest shotgun skeet shooters in the world use Benelli's, and uh, you know, the Benelli M4 is the Golden Bird tactical shotgun of the military. And uh, the Benelli Nova is a pretty nice shotgun, but there's some things I don't like about it. Stupid things, but the Benelli Supernova has some really cool things about it that I do like. And uh, it's just a little bit, little bit nicer. Uh, as far as if it shoots better or if it's better quality, I wouldn't think so. It just has a little bit more features. Okay, but I, like I said, I'm a novice on uh, Benelli, so this is the first time I own one. I, I never thought I'd even own one. I was going to go with a Mossberg, um, but uh, when I seen the price of the Benelli, four fifty, as a no-brainer, I said I'm, I'm going with the Benelli. I'm going to go with something I never had before, and I know Benelli makes excellent, excellent stuff. Uh, but I would like to have a Mossberg too, so don't get me wrong. It's nice to have different brands, you know. I have my Remington 870. The Remington 870 that Jim gave me, you guys know, it was at about maybe a year ago. And uh, what I did was, the new 870 I got, my friend Paul really liked it a lot. And uh, he was really, uh, he really liked it. And uh, I really wasn't impressed with it. And it kind of had me a little upset. But I know what, what was wrong with it could be, is an easy fix. I just didn't feel like going through with that. And um, because of my, the way my brain is, when a gun does that, I just, even though if I do fix it, it'll still be in the back of my head annoying me all the time. But uh, Paul really liked it a lot, so I sold it to Paul. He gave me a really fair price for it, and I took the money and went and got this Benelli Supernova. Paul, good luck with the 870. I'm sure you'll you'll get it fine. Uh, like I said, it, it ran the... Uh, the Federal ammo fine, but has, has a problem with Winchester, but if you can make them very small changes from uh, Brownells, you can get the little $30 kit and change the uh, min parts to steel parts, and it'll probably fix the problem. Then it, it should be able to run anything. Uh, before I gave that 870 to Paul, I called Remington and asked him what I should do, and Remington did tell me they're notorious, especially the new ones, the new ones. For having this issue and what you have to do is get some triple o steel wool put it on a wood dowel and polish the inside of that chamber which i did for paul and uh if it's still kind of doing it you might have to get that little parts kit and uh, change them little parts for 30 dollars whatever it is so that's the story uh, a couple people got upset that i didn't stick with the 870 but uh in my fairness i already have an 870 and what i did was check this out uh, i took the I'll show it to you later. I ain't got time to show it to you now. Since I replaced all the 870's furniture with tactical furniture, I had the leftover black furniture. So I got the black furniture and put it on my old my old 870. I took the wood furniture off of that, wrapped it up in bubble wrap, put it away, and now that 870 is all blacked out. I'll show it in another video. It looks really, really good. And that's my Remington 870. This will be my Benelli. And I would like to get a Mossberg uh, shotgun. Alright, that's the story. I did get some packages today. And uh, this, these packages actually came to my home and from Amazon. So I figured I'd share them with you guys. I'm sure they're gun related. So before we get into the Benelli, there it is. Here's the Remington with the new grips on it. The Remington R1 Enhanced with the new grips on it. I think they look a little better than the other grips. The other grips are awesome. They're beautiful. I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. I don't know if I want to keep them or sell them. But I got these on there. And uh, these are awesome. There's the other one. Nice. So, very dull, very grippy. They're not slippery. and Plus, they look great. Uh, I'm a sucker for medallions. And I love that. It's old school looking. I like that. So, I'll let you guys look at that in the background. And, uh... Another guy has a Benelli uh, is Ebony. I didn't even know he had one because I'm not used to him having good taste. All right. 
Let me see what this is. I think I know what it is, and if I think I know what it is, how about that Safari Lane holster? Was that something? Damn, I think I sold them a lot of holsters. They don't even know. They probably they probably woke up and said, "Wow, we got a spike in sales. I wonder, wonder what happened." <laughs> Well, because I've I seen a lot of you guys have just ordered one, just ordered one, went over to get one, so they are really neat. Here it is here. Got it in the background. I was wondering if they make them for uh, little guns, like the Car PM9. One thing I did forget to tell you guys about that holster that other guys brought up, you also get with it, if you don't like the paddle holster and you want to put it on your belt loop, they send you an extra plate and you can adjust, you can switch it to a belt loop holster too. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, this is from uh, this is from Brown Boxville, Brown South Brown Boxville. That's where it's from. Ugh. Okay, here it is. All right, I ordered this on. That's a nice box. That looks nice. This is from my Remington 870. Wow, that's real nice. And I got this off Amazon for like $23. It's aircraft aluminum. Now what this will do is, because my 870 don't have the tapped ports, this will give me a Picatinny rail on the top. Now that we blacked out the 870, we can make it a little, little more tactical, I guess. Now I guess, I mean, you could put an optic on here or a ghost ring sight. I don't know how good a ghost ring sight's going to work because the 870 just has a little bead sight at the end. I don't know if that's going to line up. I have to look. I would think I'd have to get something very low, low profile, as low profile as I can get, so it would line up with that bead sight. So, um, but there it is. That's that's really nice. I can't even tell you what company makes it. I don't know if it you know if it's UTG or what, but it's aircraft aluminum. Looks like it's made really nice to me. And one way you'll know if something's made right is how it fits on the gun. If it goes on there real nice. Uh, you know it was machined right and everything's right. But I don't see no burrs or any kind of mishaps. This took a long time to get here, but it finally got here. So there it is. What we'll do is we'll put that on the 870. That'll be that'll give me an excuse to show you it all blacked out. Okay. Very sweet. Okay, that's one package. I got another package, but I don't even know what this is. I don't remember ordering anything else. It's got my name on it. Let's see what it is. From Amazon. Speaking of Amazons, nothing like a tall woman, right? Although my wife is short, she makes up for it because she can cook. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Is there a note in here? This, this isn't for me. This is for my son. Because I'm very, very unselfish. But I'll say, I'll show you guys anyway. I ordered him a Batman. He loves Batman. I like Superman. Batman's cool, but Superman's a badass, and he's a real superhero. Uh, I ordered him this Batman thermos. It's a, just a carry mug. That cool? Because I'm such a sweetie. I've been hard on him lately. You know, because you're raising a teenager and. You're always yelling at them. Once in a while, you gotta show them you care. It's, you know, so I got that for him. Very nice. That came real fast. All right, the Benelli Supernova. What do I know about it? Jack shit. But I'm gonna do the best I can. What I will tell you about is its overall appearance to me. I think it's one of the nicest looking shotguns I ever seen. I mean, I love like. Uh, thick heavy duty looking stuff and it definitely has that look I'll show you in a minute it has a really thick polymer receiver granted it has a steel skeleton inside and it's wrapped in polymer just like a Glock magazine how cool is that super strong and then it's it, it lightens the gun up okay that's one thing it has another thing cool about this now they call this the tactical I don't know why they're calling it the tactical I would think because it has an 18 inch barrel. 
that's that's about as tactical it's black it has an 18 inch barrel it doesn't have any extended tube which you can add later i'm going to call benelli and ask them if they have a specific one they sell because i don't want to put an aftermarket one on there the problem with extension tube is because i've had this problem before so i've ran into this when i put it in a loaded uh, an extension tube on my on my 870 for some reason you got to make sure the inside when it seams together there's no bump or any kind of imperfections because it'll it'll bind up the follower so if you if you put an extension tube on your shotgun uh, I would I mean recommend to you so you don't run into that again is try to get it from the actual factory if they make one I'm sure they make one because I've seen Benelli's with the extension tube it has let's go down the list well the cool thing about this it goes from two and three quarter all the way up to three and a half inch magnums so there's nothing you can't chamber with this thing that's really cool uh, it has dual action it's got the um, the dual action bars that means uh, let me uh, I got a new flannel see it by the way uh, flyers they need a goaltender that's right okay how do you go from winning three to one and losing the game they do it all the time it's got dual action bars and what's cool about the Benelli supernova is I like that the that the foregrip usually most foregrips they stop here the Benelli supernova goes all the way down to the receiver I like that there's no empty space but you can see in here these are the action bars there's one on this side there's one on this side. It gives you equal pump. It, uh, when you're pumping it, it gives you equal tension on both sides and it makes it more slick, makes it more in, of an even pull, gives it uh, more of a uh, smooth feeling. Very nice. It's got a very nice smooth action. Really, really smooth. Um, another thing it has is uh, well, well another thing good about that if you have short arms like myself especially when it comes to paying the uh, go out to dinner I got short arms I don't reach my pockets I'm not a tall person so if I'm holding this I can I can pump it from here I don't have to stretch my arm all the way out here I can hold it right here that's another cool thing what I like about it check out the uh, just the look of this thing it's got a great look to it. That uh, uh, loading gate, whatever the hell it is, the lifter, that looks like it has like an, an ion coating on it, and that keeps it nice and slick. Here's a, uh, has a, a, this stock is like designed for absorbing recoil. See how long, all them cushions in there? Like I said, I don't know a lot about the Benelli. But I'm just, just showing you things I do know and found out. This little button here, I'll show you what that's for. That's a real cool thing. Um, <clears throat> it has a rotating bolt head. See the bolt head in there? Man, the lighting sucks in this place. Now what that does is it gives you a firm lockup. That's what it's for. Okay, so when you rack the slide forward... You know, you know when you do that on motor shotguns, you rock the slide forward, all right, and then you pull the trigger. Okay, then after you pull the trigger, this gets loose. Well, this stays nice and firm and solid. That's what it does. It gives, you, it just gives you a nice firm lockup. It's just a little bit nicer. You know what I mean? Um, the other thing it has, it has an adjustable rear sight. Now these sights are, are really not what I want I'd rather have uh, or I'd like to get because you can still you can see they're drilled and tapped they have these plugs in there I would like to get a rail and a ghost ring a low profile ghost ring but it does have a, the sights are on the barrel there's one here and there's one on the end and you can adjust it with an allen key on the front you can adjust it side to side okay it does have that um uh, now, what this button does, how I understand it is, it's called the magazine stop button. That's what this is, okay? What it does is, if you want to 
change your ammunition, like say this is loaded with birdshot, say you got some slugs in your pocket, and you need to change your you need to change your ammo for some weird situation. Say you're a hunter, and you you see a pheasant, and then uh, you see a big ass bear or something, and, and you want to switch to a slug, you can slide the foregrip towards you, and it, as you're sliding it, what you do is you push this button in, like that, and what it will do, it stops the magazine. So when I go like this, a shell in the magazine, it won't let the shell out. So what it'll let you do is take your whatever bird shot in there, throw a slug in there that's what it does and now you're ready you can you can do that and it just interrupts the magazine flow operation from uh, chambering that's pretty cool I don't know if you know if you understand what I mean I can't even understand how I talk what I mean but that's what that's for that's a really cool feature and I never seen that before on any shotgun I ever owned. Uh, I like just like the overall look of it uh, the Benelli Supernova, the difference between them is um, uh, this, you can change the stock on here and you can put, sh they give you shims and the shims will adjust, adjust the level for your, you know, how you aim and where you hold your head and it'll uh, customize the gun to be, uh, to fit you. Uh, the Supernova also has this unique looking trigger guard, it's very, very big so you can wear gloves. And the other thing I like about it is it has an extra big uh, thumb, thumb, uh, thumb safety. See how big it is? It's, it's a little bigger than your, your average thumb safety. It's like the size of an aspirin. And another cool thing about it is it's not in the rear of the trigger guard. It's in the front of the trigger guard. So if you're, if you're in position and you're holding it, it's more natural than have to go like this. Then reach back here. You have, you're changing your hand. You're, you're like this. You can reach that. You can reach the trigger. You can reach the safety. You can reach the trigger. You can reach the safety. Very easily. That's pretty cool. Uh, another thing about it is the slide release. Usually on the shotgun, it's on this side, and you have to flip the shotgun all the way around and you can hold it like this to, to cock it. This, it's right here. Everything's within your finger reach. You got your trigger. You got your safety. You got your slide release. Everything's right where it needs to be uh, for easy access that's what I'm saying like I said I don't know much about these I haven't shot it I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on it and I like the aggressive ejection it has don't get excited Eric when you hear that and uh, it's a Benelli and something I always always wondered about and always wanted at the same time hopefully I'll be happy with it I can't see how I can't be happy with this. <laughs> as long as it works, I'll be happy with it. Um, that's it. That's all I can tell you about it. I want to give another shout out to another good channel. Very important. And uh, this guy is, uh, well, his friend is a friend of mine who watches the channel. The, guy, the name of the guy's channel is The Pro Rancher. If you go to The Pro Rancher's channel, Check him out. He's, he's, a, he's a good dude. He's got real good videos. He has a real good uh, gun control video. I really enjoyed it. And it's called The Pro Rancher. I'll put his link right under this video. Okay? And I just want to thank you guys for watching. Last night I was in a crabby mood. Well, I don't know when this video is going up. The holster video. I was in a crabby mood. Uh, I got pissed off again at a couple people. That's just how I am. Like I said, this is not a professional broadcast. I am not a professional gun reviewer. I'm just who I am. So if I get mad, I'm not going to be a professional and say, Well, Pete, don't say that. It's bad for the business. No, I'm going to say what's on my mind. If you're, going to, if you're going to leave a rude comment like, Wow, you got rid of the 870? I thought you were a lot smarter than that. That, to me, is a fucking rude comment. Sorry, dude. You were fucking rude when you said that. Blocking you probably was extreme, but I just wasn't in the mood for it. I was in a bad mood. I wasn't in the mood for, for, for the bullshit comments. I'm trying to give you a video so you guys can enjoy it, and all you get is this, these, these fucking guys with their fucking comments. He probably didn't mean it that way, 
but the way it looks in text it looks real nasty sometimes and it probably isn't even meant that happens a lot on YouTube so you guys got a gun channel and you're running it and you have thin skin like me get ready for drama because there's gonna be a lot of it it runs in the family